Well, he's taken some shots from uh, some of his competitors, Santorum and Bachman, over this. And I think they're cheap shots because he issued a very strong pro-life statement, which endorsed just about everything uh, in, in the pledge, including, for example, appointing judges who respect, uh, who respect the Constitution, don't legislate from the bench, which is obviously a reference to the abortion decision in 1973, defunding Planned Parenthood, defunding UN programs and others that promote abortion. And as we just heard, the, the fetal pain bill where you, you support legislation to ban abortions after a point where the fetus becomes sentient to pay. On all of that, he, he issued his own strong statement. His problem is one of the statements in the pledge implies that, or can be interpreted, to mean that if some subsidiary or auxiliary of a large, say, chain of hospitals is engaged even in a peripheral way in abortions, then the federal government can't provide the Medicaid or Medicare to any of those hospitals which is an absurdity, and that's why he didn't want to sign. And the, the Susan B. Anthony list itself later issued a statement saying it wanted to exclude that. So in fact, it endorsed the Romney position. So I think he's made a strong statement. I'm not vouching for what lies deep in his heart. You can never do that with any candidate on anything, but his statement is extremely strongly pro-life. Well, and just to